That's a huge difference between Israeli mentality and, and most other countries. In Israel, when we look at someone who had a startup and he failed, we say, okay, now he knows what not to do in the next one. He has already the experience. He has the scars on his back. He'll do much better next time. In most of the world, when you fail, they say, oh, you're a failure. Now, startups are all about taking risks. I mean, we're talking about venture, right? That's the key word here. Uh, startups are about taking risks. Startups are about having this crazy idea that everyone tells you you're insane and pushing it forward. And guess what? A lot of startups fail. But the experience that people get while they are trying to ramp up this startup, while they are trying to sell it, while they're trying to do things, etc. You know, many times they fail also because uh, they were just not in the right time. They were either too early to the market or too late, or because many times it's because of, uh, you know, whatever other things that happen that are uh, unrelated to the company. You know, right now in Israel, I know of startups that are going bankrupt just because they can't get funding because of the war and, and international investors don't want to take the risk right now of investing in an Israeli company and things like that. They have a great idea. They have great technology, but you know, it is what it is, right? So the fact that you your company went under doesn't mean that you're a failure. Uh, and in most cases, you can be a very smart guy, you know, done very good things. And, you know, it just happened. But hey, now you have that experience. I'd rather hire someone like that to be the CEO of the next company than someone who's, you know, no experience and, and hasn't done anything in his life.